G'day students, I'm Dr. Price. In this video I'm going to talk to you about some addition facts called count on two facts. And we're going to use two different ways to help us to learn these number facts, a number line and a 10 frame. So let's start with the number line and let's look at the question 4 plus 2 equals. This is a nice easy number fact and using the number line I'm sure you won't find it difficult. We're going to start with 4 and then count on 2. Look at the number line, find the number 4, imagine the two jumps. You can draw the two jumps if you want to. What number do we get to? Of course it's 6. Now with the number line it's quite easy to do and with drawing the lines and so on you can find the answer. But what we really want to be able to do is to imagine the jumps, imagine the, the counting on two and be able to come up with the answer without using the number line. So as you get better at this use the number line to start with but after a while you will become familiar with the numbers and you should be able to do it without actually drawing the lines and even without the number line. The other part of this is the counting on part. So you can do it without a line and just think in your mind. So again, starting with the 4, if you think to yourself, starting from 4, what's the next counting number? Of course it's 5. And what's the one after that? That's our answer, 6. And if you do it that way, if you say the 4 and then you whisper the 5 and then say the next number, that will help you remember the jumping over two, two numbers. So you might say 4, 5, 6. That gives you the answer. And you could do that with any number that we're uh, counting on to. Here is the 10 frame. I expect that you've used a 10 frame before. You should be able to look at this and tell me that there are six counters. So this question would be 6 and we're going to add 2 again because we're counting on 2. How many would we have if we add another 2? If I put the other 2 out, you can see straight away how many. There must be 8. Could you do that without the counters? Could you look at the 6 and imagine the next 2? See it in your mind if you like and look at that and see that the next one is 8. Alright, so those are some easy questions. Let's try some slightly harder ones. This is a question where we don't know one of the numbers. And I'm going to do two different questions here like this. What shall I have for this one? Let me have nine. Okay. So looking at the number line, here is a question where we start with a number and we don't know what that number is yet. And we add two and the answer is seven. Using the number line, here is the seven. If we started over here and we made two hops and we finish at the seven, where did we start from? So you need to look at this and work out where did we start if it's two hops. Here are two hops, one, two. So we must have started here at the five. So it's a little bit more difficult. You have to be able to think what, where would we have started. It's a bit like thinking backwards from the number that we get to. And the last one, let's put out nine counters for this one. Here are nine counters. What did we start with? If we started with a number and we added 2 and the answer is 9. So imagine the number that was there before we put 2 more. Let me change the colour of the last 2 to a different colour. Can you see the number that was there before the 2? I'm sure you can. It's 7. 7 and 2 makes 9. Alright, so that's the count on 2 strategy and I will talk to you next time.